All right, all right. What's up, what's up? It's Chad Muska, chilling with Dustin Deardorff. Chilling here for Circle Footwear with Arm Video Magazine. You know how we do this? About to open up the bag of tricks here, mother No. Okay, you can edit that one out. When it comes time to, we need to do a new shoe for Chad. You know, I try not to really like get too much of a style from another shoe. I try to get that from the skater, like Chad in this case, you know? We look at like his style, like what he's into at the time, what he's wearing, whatever. My influence is from the street, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm constantly on the streets riding my skateboard and influenced by everything I see. I think that like a balance between the high fashion world, the skateboarding world, um, and then just the regular street trends that you see on the streets. A combination of all those things together is kind of what we kind of envision Cirque as, you know? This, kids, is how shoes are made. Computer and your brain. The world's greatest computer is right here. So the way that the process usually goes, though, you come up with a concept, it takes about a week getting it down on paper. There's something we had kind of talked about for a while is, is doing a, a really good inner sock for a shoe. Just different than it's ever been done before in a skateboard shoe. From there, I just kind of like work on some sketches and email it over to Chad, we get on the phone. And it was like, we were both just like, on the same thought process, like ready to go basically, you know? Once we get something on paper, how we kind of want it to be, then we'll take this and uh, start forming it into the computer drawing actually. Get a computer drawing going so we can like check out some color blocking, you know, how it's gonna look, put some details on it, put the logos on it. Then we got like a finalized, okay, this is it, like this is the shoe, like done drawing, you know? From there, like, then I go into making spec sheets on breaking down every detail of the shoe, you know, for the factory to understand what we're trying to get here. And there's different factories that do each piece usually, right? Like, there's oh, one. Yeah, there's different factories for the shoelaces, the mesh, the logos, the, yeah. the leather. It's incredible how many people and how much time is involved into just putting together one pair of shoes. At one factory, they'll make the iron mold, and then from there, that'll go on to the other factories. They use that mold to press the rubber for the soles. They'll die cut the rubber sheets into general shapes of the soles. Then they have to put those into the heat presses, which will press the rubber and melt it into the mold. Um, then they have to take it out, and you know, then they'll pull it out, and then you got the basically the whole sole. And then they take it to a separate area where they will cut the excess rubber around the edges and uh, finish off the edges. Yeah, separate factory is where they make the upper materials and the mesh. All that's woven by machines for all different types of materials. Also at those places, the fabric is dyed depending on whatever color we need. At that point, you know, basically when all the components are made, then that all goes to the assembling factory where the upper is all stitched together, the labels are put on. Clip off the excess material, clean it up, and then from there it's basically ready to be lasted and put onto the sole. Okay, everything's put together, put the toe cap on put the sole on, make sure it's all lined up perfectly, and then they'll put it into a machine which will press the sole onto the upper. And there we have a shoe sample. Then you put it on the feet and hit the streets, <laughs> man. Oh wait, actually, cut, and you put it on your feet, hit the streets and test it out. That's how it works. The park is a pretty good place because if you know you can come here, you can bring a couple extra sets of shoes, you know, to uh, test them out and uh, figure out what needs to be changed on them and stuff. Something that's like Chad's always been psyched on and Jamie too is the fact that we actually skate. I skate in these shoes and test them at the same time that he is, you know. Each person seems to mess shoes up in a different way, so it's good to have a few different types of people skate the shoes, you know? He called me on the phone and was like, this is the best skate shoe I've ever had. That was like from the first sample that he wrote. 
we were really on point with this one as design wise. And then um, I think mainly just the toe cap was like a, a, a different mold. We had to get a better mold so it didn't hurt your toes against the end of it. To me, it's really crazy, man, because uh, with us, it just seems like our relationship with the factories just keeps getting better and more solid. The communication just gets there more. I mean, the first sample we got from this was really close. So once we get through all of the corrections and testing to the samples, then we end up with a final confirmation sample, which is basically a, a perfect sample. Uh, from there, the shoe is ready to go into production, which is in China. It's about a three-month process. From there, the shoes are shipped to us in the States. And finally, about one year later from where we started the process, we're ready to ship it out to the stores. Little B, little B, come here. We need a cameo appearance. What do you think about the new joints, man? You know, they're pretty hot, man. You know, I have to put them on and everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like them, man. They're flexible, you know. Patty feels good, you know. I think it'll be a top seller. Oh, 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 oh. Brandon, let's find a home, man.